Hello everybody and welcome back to Beyond the Galactic Science. This should be episode 3. And at the end of the last episode, we had basically set out on, well I had set out myself, to upgrade the XP to at least level 11. Which is what we've done, as you can see. And in this case we've got 3000 energy and 6 rooms. I built some more rooms. I changed the rooms around a bit actually. And we've got the shield and we've got some speed set to the slowest possible, 1.8. And we want to now go and look at what new features we've got. So let's have a look here. We have, at the bottom here, we have this unstabilised flight control, which is a new control. So when that's out, we don't have to go around pressing these flight buttons, which is fantastic. And we've also got this control here which is the external scanner and when you right click the external scanner here it tells you all sorts of things the dimension what the position is what the time is and the four facing sides of the um, of the TARDIS so the current facing side they're all safe let's have a look so it's eight o'clock well five to nine in the morning facing sides on all sides are safe well we know that because we're in we're at base and the TARDIS is all all around the back and that's basically it. Now we also get some more stuff on the screwdriver. Some of it you can't see from here. So if we right click this now, we get the dismantle mode. Well, we've seen that before. I can quickly go and demonstrate that. I think at the moment I've got a tiny corridor set up. So let's just go down here and create a tiny corridor like that. And here we have a, a control. So what we need to do now is we right Go back to this mental mode here. Holding down the shift, right click this twice. And that's removed that corridor, as you can see. And that's what the dismantle mode does. The next thing we've got on here, let's have a look and see what we can see from inside. There's actually less we can see from inside the TARDIS than outside the TARDIS. Transmat. So if I right click this, it'll take me to the transmat point, which is in fact this roundel here. As you can see, actually, it's just before that roundel, just in front of the door. So, wherever you are, let's go outside. Uh, probably best to do this with an open hand. Go over somewhere here. You can do this, I think it's within the current dimension. And right click this, and we're back in the TARDIS. Now let's go outside again. So, the other things we can do with the TARDIS here. Now let's come say so over here like this, and right click the tar uh, right click this again. Shift right click it. So that's the recall mode. That's what comes at the level eleven, I think. We could also find out the link mode. Well, that's something special. We'll come to that in a minute. Reconfiguration. Well, we've been using that before. Locate. So we right click this, and it tells us where the TARDIS is. So we look at that. And we compare that to what we saw before, with the um, it's gone now unfortunately from the list it would show us where the um the position is of the TARDIS in this dimension so we know where it is in fact it's the same place as it was before so that's fine what else have we got on here dismantle we've just dealt tell you transmat we've just dealt with if you left click another player with this it will then transport them so right clicking this does ourselves next one the recall mode, well, I'm not very far away, but if I right click this here, the TARDIS is now inbound, and the TARDIS should appear in a few seconds where we're standing. It's like a shadow, I'm going to get out of its way just in case. And as you can see, And I wait for that to finish because it's loud. Right, there we are. Now, that works interdimensionally as well, so you can get call the TARDIS from wherever you are. So let's go into the TARDIS again. In fact, we can actually should be able to fly now. In fact, I'm just land where we were. So what have we got modes here? I think we're in drifting modes. We turn that off, and then just fly. So we need to go add three buttons. Start with this one. Right, click that, and the helmet regulator, and the quantum handbrake 
and it should say we're going to land straight away hopefully just like that bang and let's go around here to this control which we shall see this one here so we check that so we're actually somewhere else now but if I come back here now and change this to load mode and the current coordinates and we load position one here it moves it around a little bit so now these should be set to where we were before data interface I hope we're anyway minus 11 that's actually that's where we are at the moment dimension 71 did we check the outside oh yes we are so let's have a quick look outside and see where we are yes we haven't gone anywhere let's go back in again and let's take off and fly again so we press the, the three buttons I've just gone past the first one so we need the temporal primer the helmet regulator and the quantum handbrake flick the front we can see what we're doing and I think I've got it set to land on landing pads let me double check that because I think that should be over which one it is so two buttons at the top ah oh, here we are Use landing pads correct and land on the ground, that's correct too. Uh, let's have a quick look where we are. So now we're back where we were, 13, 64, 71, 179. So we should be directly opposite the, the, um, the base. If I can get through the door, which I can't at the moment. I'll just maybe try with an empty hand. There we go. So we're back on the landing pad that's actually here. You can't see the landing pad, let's come out again. But you can if I dig down a little bit. So let's just take this. It's a bit fierce, this one, but... See, here I put a landing pad. I said it's where it's landing. I'm on a corridor at the moment, so let's just put those two moon dirt stack back. Like that, and go back into the TARDIS. So, that is the new controls and the, and the sonic screwdriver from when we reached level 11. Which is really useful now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at crafting at the previous episode we'd basically set up some chronosteel some iron to be converted to chronosteel and some gold to produce to some darnicum ingots so we've got those now so once though we've got those we can start to do interesting things now the first thing i'm going to make is this the Arctron battery so this requires a Contron crystal, four chronosteel and four Darlinicum ingots. Now Contron crystals are still back in the in the base. Let's go and pick those up first of all. I need to click that. So they're in this chest here. I've actually got 19 and I got these from the dungeons. So I did. I uh, went through four dungeons on the moon and one dungeon in Mars. Uh, defeated the bosses and ended up with a lot of broken spawners, as you can see. So there's plenty of stuff there. But I also got a lot of ender, ender lily seeds. About 20, I think, in total. So we could actually have a fully grown ender lily farm here. And we also got... I'm going to take a few birch as well. One or two, huh? And some seeds. Let me just take a seed. I want seeds will be here. Let's just pinch a seed. Did I get a seed from that lot? Yes, I did one. That's fantastic. I go back into the TARDIS. And then the ender lily seeds managed to get up to 25, and they've got loads of ender pearls from that, so that's fantastic. Uh, I'm just going to put these. I'm just going to put these saplings in here for the time being. I don't want those with me just at the moment. And let's have a look at this. So the Arctron battery. Let's make one of those first of all. I don't want to make 19. One's just fine for what I want to demonstrate. And we can upgrade this as well, so we can use the same 
pattern actually for doing the upgrades like that and then that's the Arctron advanced battery the difference between the two this one's got holds 200 and the other one holds 100 and we can put this down so as you put it down like this it'll start to charge see at the moment it says charged 6 8 10 so that's starting to charge as you can see now what else we can do we can build another temporal lab which we'll do to start with I think I need some glass uh, gold uh, I think I need some close to, I've forgotten exactly what I need let's take a few of these things let's have a quick look what we need for this it's actually fairly basic stuff redstone I think that might be enough let's just iron I've got yes good so we'll make a temporary lab like that and I'm going to put this one on this chest beside here like that and you'll see it's lit up but I also need to put on top of that a uh, I think I've got one prepared actually a hopper do I have a hopper with me I thought I'd made a hopper ready for this oh I know where it is it's in the chest let's take this hopper out of there like that we can use this we can stand on this battery here and shift right click this onto there and that should make the, the standard build so this has now got 154 energy in this now to pick this up we're going to dismantle mode which I think is the red one there we are and right shift right click it picks up the battery now if we put the battery beside the uh, um, the lab the temporal lab which you have to do shift clicking of course and then right click that again to turn it on and then we'll go and get say um, actually I've probably already got them with me let's just take three iron ingots out of here there's a reason for three because one battery holds 200 charge and that will actually make two chronosteel ingots it's enough to do that so I can put those in there now you'll see this is not actually turning round yet and that's because this is in mode landing now if I change this mode by right clicking it to coordinated uncoordinated flight or coordinated flight it actually activates the temporal lab and you can see the temporal lab is now going round so now we open up the chest you'll see we've already got two chronosteel ingots out of that and we should get a third one because it still seems to be working this has got charge it's going charge isn't very much at the moment but it's going up and down so it's obviously working I think it is now while that's working away we'll go and do something else as you see it's going it's not it would be going up higher but it's because this is powering this then it's actually generating power it's still not got the third, third one yet I want to have a look at upgrades I've actually got some in my inventory here I've got some an upgrade for energy regen an upgrade for the energy level miscontrol protection and a broken upgrade well I managed to break one of these miscontrol protection by flying around and missing too many controls like this and it actually blows up some parts of the engine so this part is damaged and that needs chronosteel to repair that so let's take a chronosteel ingot like this and then simply right shift right click I should right click on that there yeah? then it repairs this particular part let's take another one of those the next one is going to be a dial income so well, that one's yes that repairs with dial income so each one of these has its own different bit so what you can do with these is you can put these into the into the um, into this engine here but before we do that let's go and have a look at what we've got to say to see for the beginning we go around to the front and here we got the energy so that's the XP level at the moment 11 so we've got 3000 energy here and that's room control that's speed control and that's shield so it doesn't give you an, there's no gauge to say how much energy we regen level it is so if we now come along here and I want to I'll go make some more of these anyway but for the time I just want to put one of these in like that that's the broken one I can't put the broken one back in but I can put the energy level one in so I'll put that in right click it yes and it brings back the broken one brilliant and I will do the energy at regen level so I'll put that in say there like that and come around here I've got no unspent 
points so I can't upgrade it through experience so let's go and have a now look at what's actually happened to the front and we should see this has now got a maximum of 4,000 which is fantastic and it's going up the power's going up so what we'll now do is we'll make two more of these we'll do the same thing again so what do I need for that I need to know I need some gold nuggets and some iron I've got plenty of iron and I think that's probably about it for that I'll need some purple dye and a diamond for one of those so let's have a look so we make a template first of all so this is a template so we'll go to the crafting table here and make the templates I'm not gonna bother let's make five I'll make four templates I think like that and then with those templates we shall make first of all a energy regen level so that's two lapis, two gold, and two ink sacks, plus the two chrono steel ingots. So two lapis, two gold, two ink sacks. Well, we've got gold. Yes, we've got enough gold on this. I think so, anyway. So I'll make one of these, first of all. Like that. Oh, it'd be better if I shift-clicked it, wouldn't it? So, oh, wrong one. Again. And we'll have another one of those. We'll also do one of these energy upgrades to so make it up to 5,000. We need two purple dye. Don't ask me why purple dye. Two gold, one template, which we've made five of. Sink sacks and the chrono steel ingot. So there we can do that one as well. And then we can put these into the machine like this. Let's bring that one up here. Energy regen level is that one. And that's miscontrol protection. I don't need that anymore. Not with the other one anyway, because we've once we've got to the um, other point and put that in there. So now we've got 5,000. And the regen should be regening at about 5, I think, per second. Let's have a look. So now we've got 5,000 and it's actually going up 6. So the regen level, energy regen level now is 6 per, per second. So this thing should be charging up a little bit more. It's already fully charged. And we've got our three chrono steel ingots. We could do the same with Dalinicum, put in three of those. And they'll come through and get processed and come out the bottom as three Dalinicum ingots. Dust it, huh? That's the first one. Now, what else we can make? Well, with diamonds and enderpearls, we can make some Contron crystals, which is uh, that one. So we can take, actually, we'll take one of those and one diamond in fact I'm going to put that into this one it won't work at the moment because we're not flying we could actually fly let's do that in fact I know there's some more chrono steel iron ingots in that one anyway where are we mm. I'll have a backup just come on I should show you about that one as well so that's coordinated flight uncoordinated flight just drifting so then we come along press the temporal primer helmet regulator and take the brake off then we just fly in space and that's actually going to power that machine so we should just be flying in the vortex there we go and as we're drifting in the vortex here this is actually then should become operational here and it will actually be producing some chrono steel ingots there's quite a few in here in fact and here we've got our three Dalinicum ingots. And this charge is charging up nicely. It's already seven, it's already 72. What else we can make, and this is really one of the cool things in this mod, is some temporal dirt. I'm going to make three sets of this. And that's what I need. So I'm going to use this one, strangely enough. I'm going to put in... I'll do it from the back end actually. I'll put in three of these. Three of these. All of the actually 132 of these, 64 of these. In fact I'll put all of them like that. And then we wait. It takes quite a long time to feed them in with the hopper. But it gets there in the end. And while that's working away, let's have a look at what other things we can actually do with the TARDIS. This will take quite a long time to 
to get out. There's quite a few um, iron bars in there. I think it was almost a stack. So now we are. So we've looked at the these upgrades here. We've got combat protection. There's a, what else have we got? We've got miscontrol protection, speed. We can increase the speed. Shield level. That may well be worth doing. Max rooms probably not at the moment. And energy level we've done that. And energy we've done that. Explosion protection and the broken upgrade. So we've seen most of those. This is one for changing the um, the look of the of the um, TARDIS. We can do this one as well. Let's have a look. What do we need for that? Lapis, red, red dye, green dye, and chronic steel lingots. I've almost got everything we need for that. I have in here anyway. We've got lapis, red dye, green dye. Da, da, da. I'm not exactly sure where we put this. You see at the moment it says old police box, new police blocks, post box, old police box. I've got a feeling all I have to do is to put this into a roundel. But I'm not sure which roundel I'll have to put in it, if it's any special or just generally. So what we'll do is we'll up we'll take this roundel off here, so we want to get to the reconfigure mode that and then right click this and then put the chameleon circuit into that like that I, oh that won't work there will it? it must go in the engine it's the only place it can go actually I'll wait until these are finished processing so we've got 41 we wait for the contron crystal to come out of here like that so actually they're quite surprisingly good finds when you get them in dungeons. So here now we've got four temporal dirt. Let's go and have a look at that. We'll end up with some more temporal dirt. We should end up with about eight, I think. Uh, one thing I've forgotten, I put in here, I think. No, it was in this one. There's some saplings. Let's take a sapling and a seed. Go away from that. That's a nice and quiet down here. That's good. And I'm going to put those in the middle like this. So I'm going to put one. On, oh, I'll just put them around like this. You can't put them on the control circuit, unfortunately. But you have to cover it up. But you can do it like this. No big deal. And you'll see. Look at the speed of that. Huh? Fantastic. And we can do the tree as well. Put the tree down and wait a few seconds, and we have a tree. So the growth rate of those is phenomenally quickly, uh, quick. So this is go I'm going to use this for doing the power. So I'm going to basically use trees like I have done in the, the base and can connect that to the outside. I can knock those down, of course, like this. I'll go and take this one out here. You cannot break these, by the way. To pick them up, what you have to do is you have to go to the sonic screwdriver, take it to dismantle mode, which is red. I'll remember that one. And shift right click them, then you can pick them up. Like that. But and now we've got three saplings, let's put those down like this. Well, actually let's yes, let's put three down. I'll take the other dirt out. Which I should have done to start with. And you see before we've even got the dirt out, the saplings have already grown to trees. So what I'm not yet 100% sure about is how many trees you need in order to power that thing. You're not going to need very many if it works like this. And if I use spruce and put them as fours, then we'll get huge trees. And this chamber should be big enough to deal with that. This chamber also I created here, I created an up further lift. And if I go up further lift here, it actually brings me to the top of the chamber, which is rather nice as well. like that get a bit hungry now let's have a look down here hopefully by now we've got our quantron crystal we have fantastic 48 so that shouldn't be processing now because there's nothing more to process and the same with this one I'm just wondering something did I I should have six, I think. So maybe I've forgotten something. Let's just break this like that. 
and you'll see it picked up some stuff as you saw because I haven't got everything it needs in here so let's put that down again and let's put this back in so we need 64 of those one of those one Crontron crystal and yeah that's done and one kind of seal ingot should be enough to produce the next one I must have miscounted one so we put these away now In fact, we can land because everything's been built that we need, and that will actually work even when we're, when we're not land, we're not flying. So simply click the, the quantum handbrake and we land like that. Because this is connected to it, and you actually see it's now working. We haven't quite landed yet. So look at the power, 125, and it's already finished. Okay, that was fast. Let's go and make another two of this. Now we have landed. We want, I want to just prove that we actually work. So we need half of those like that. And then we need one of these. And one of these. So we'll just put those into here like that. Unless he gets on with it. And in a short while, we should have another two temporal dirt. That's a lot, isn't it, to this mod? It's a surprisingly large amount of stuff in this mod. What I'm going to do next is try this one out. The TARDIS DMAT lever. So we need two switches and five, and three blocks and three um, nether quartz. So I've got nether quartz here. I've got some slabs. I just need two levers. So we need two levers. One, two, and some sticks. Don't really need to make sticks i've got hundreds of sticks in the base but never mind so let's see if that works i'm not sure exactly how this works whether i have to put it on the machine darling well let's have a look let's come out of here Picked up some more saplings. Oh yes, yes, and you see the post. The, out, the look of the, the box has changed completely differently now. What happens? I'm not sure where we put this DMAT lever. Maybe we put it just beside it and then turn it on like that. Ah, doesn't seem to work like that. I'll have to find out how this works. I guess let's try picking up again and trying it on. Do I have to put it on top? Ah, oh, no, that won't work either. I don't suppose. It should disappear. Where can we put this? I wonder if the TARDIS DMAT lever needs power or something like that. Well, try one more thing. Oops, too much, too much there. Beating at my base again. Uh, huh. Put that down like that. Let's try. Put another bit. I can put it on top. Can I? No, that's not working like that. Hmm. Okay, I'll find out what we have to do with that. One thing I said I'd like to go through is there's a lot more things I'm going to go cover. Let's have a look what we can cover in this mod. Well, we dealt with the um, upgrades for the engine here, like that, that lot. We haven't produced a, a label, a, tire, a label yet. Let's just do that. Let's produce one of these. And I hope that this is... Yes, we got the two, so we can produce one label. And that should work. And that doesn't take very long at all to come through. So we've got some more temporal dirt now. There we've got a, a temporal name tag. What you're supposed to be able to do with this is to label the than the destinations here. Fortunately, I haven't found out how it works yet. I simply right click it like that. And that's in load mode. And it doesn't do anything. I suppose, I suppose you're supposed to shift right click it. It doesn't do anything at all. I've tried all sorts of things. I've tried doing it in save, unless we could do this one. Um, like that. 
and I don't see how to label this thing. There doesn't seem to be any buttons you can use. You shift right clicking doesn't seem to work. So I'm going to have to see if I can figure out this. It did work for me once, but so that's mode here like that, and then we should be able to load the current position, load a different position. We haven't been anywhere else yet, so that's fair enough. But that's how you produce those, and I'll put that away for the time being because I'm not 100% sure what to do with it. I'll sort this as well. So what else have we got here? We've got a very important one, which I'm going to cover next time, and this is a decorator. Well, very important, not really, but so let's make the temp the decorator. So we need two Crontron plus a five iron, I think it was. Is it like this? A four iron, I reckon. In that case, I think it's like this. And then we produce this decorator. And with the decorator, you see you've got a block on the top of it, so we can fly up here like this. And here we've got some roundels. Maybe I don't want the roundels leading to the library. So what you can then do is you can change this. You right click these and it just deleted those two roundels. But if I change this again, now if I shift right click this, and it changes it to mode to a flat block. So if I left click this, it just changes one block like that. And strangely enough, you see those are actually flat, not flat blocks, they're normal blocks. So if I go back to the next one, so now we've got sort of a, a brick, a solid brick, so we can actually say, okay, I want this to be bricks like that. And then I did a right click, and you'll see what it did is it did a whole load of bricks, which I probably don't want, to be honest with you. So let's undo those to start with, which you can't do, so you've got to go back. Here you've got um, another style of bricks. That looks quite nice, doesn't it? Um, next one. We got the blocks of glass, well, which you can make a sort of window, which is quite nice too. Next one, roundels. So we can actually put roundels back in again, so we can go like that. I think it was those two that were had the roundels before. Yes, they did. And then next one is a walkway, so we can make a walkway here like this. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I should have left clicked and then right clicked it. It's very easy to right click actually. But it's okay, you can get the idea. You can also change this. Now you can have a see through walkway. So we could say, uh, I'm not sure what you can see through here. If we did it over here, what would happen? We can actually see it outside. It looks a bit funny on the wall, but that's reasonable. You can see down below whatever's below us. Next one is again the solid block. So this was the solid block before. So if I right click this, we should get all of these being replaced for solid blocks and on the floor too. Okay, actually I want smooth ones on that one. Let's just have to click these out of the way. And here are some more bricks, right click those. There we go. It seems to just change the one you actually had before. Okay, so the next one's the flat block. So we can then fix these. In fact, I think all of this was flat block, wasn't it, on the floor? But I'm not going to go use a, a right click on this because of the walls, it'll affect the walls as well. So we'll just left click these. Flat. And make this go back to, let's make this back as a walkway, like this. Get rid of the see through walkways as well. I'll get rid of this glass for that matter. Like that. That sort of puts it back again, I think. What else you can do? Well, we'll have to find out next time. So I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you next time. Next time I'm going to look at doing more work with the decorating the TARDIS. And I'm also going to look at some more rooms because I've added some extra room types to this particular uh, version of my version of the TARDIS. And I'll show you how to do that next time. So until then, bye for now.